Padding integers is one of the most important concepts we learn in this unit, and today we're going to focus on using a number line model to add integers. Notice this number line. You'll notice that the negative numbers are on the left, and as you move to the left, numbers are decreasing. They get smaller and smaller. Positive numbers are on the right of the number line, and as you move to the right, numbers get larger and larger. So we're going to just look at quite a few examples here. We'll start with the example negative 3 plus 5. I want you to notice that when you're using a number line, when you want to add a negative number, you need to move to the left. So we'll move left. When you want to add a positive number, you're going to move to the right. So anytime you start on a number line, we always start at 0. That's our origin. That's where we begin. So if I want to add negative 3 plus 5, I start at 0, and then I move to the negative 3. So you can either write um, negative 3 like this with an arrow, or you can just start at negative 3. I'm not super picky on that. The next thing says we need to add 5. So we're at this value negative 3, and I add 5. 5 is positive, so I'm going to be moving to the right. So I'm going to start at this negative 3, and I'm just going to show you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I move 5 spaces to the right. And notice I end on 2. That shows me that negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Let's try several more of these just to get in the hang of it. This example is negative 4 plus negative 2. So again, we're going to start at 0, and then we move to negative 4. Okay, so I'm at negative 4. This time I'm adding a negative number. I'm adding negative 2. So from negative 4, I move 2 spaces to the left. So I'd go 1, 2, and I'm here at the left, so I've moved 2, 2 left, or negative 2 total. That means negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. Okay. You might want to try this one on your own, see if you can get it, pause the video, and then see how it, how it worked. So this one's 5 plus negative 9. So again, I start at 0, and then I go to the 5 on the number line. It's positive 5, so I'm moving right. And then I need to add negative 9. Since it's a negative number, I've moved 9 spaces to the left. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Notice I end at negative 4, so 5 plus negative 9 is negative 4. Okay, our final example. This time I'm going to have you add three integers together. So you can try this one on your own if you feel uncomfortable. Pause the video and look back. That would be awesome. And just check in and see how you did. So negative 6 plus 2 plus negative 3, I'm going to add 3. So again, I'm going to start at 0. And I'm going to move left 6 to that negative 6 mark. Then I'm asked to add 2. So I'm going to add 2 by moving 2 to the right. Notice at this time I've landed on negative 4. Now the last number tells me to move to add negative 3, which is going to be moving 3 spaces to the left. So I'm going to go 1, 2, three spaces to the left. And notice I finish on negative seven. That means negative six plus two plus negative three is negative seven. Okay, this is what I want to show you with adding integers on a number line. So I want you to do a lot more practice with this until you feel quite comfortable with this concept. 